Wag yung kayong magkadisgrasyahan tayo niya. Sinasabi ko yung madidisgrasya kayo. At madidisgrasya kayo. Hindi ako uurong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. Good morning, MPC. Good morning, Presidential Spokesperson, Secretary Harry Roque. Mm -hmm. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at magandang umaga Pilipinas. Uh, binabati po natin ang mga atleta sa Asian Games. Uh, ang uh, medal count po is 15, 3 golds and 12. At kahapon nga po, meron na naman tayong bagong bronze doon sa aking adapted na sport po, penchak silat. Nakakuha po ng bronze si uh, Cherry May Regalado. It was one point shy away from a silver. No? And I guess uh, just to devote a few minutes to um, the, the stories of the athletes, no? Dines Dumaan, one of our bronze medalists, po, no? was, is the son of farmers, and his parents don't have their own land to till. Nung nagkabagyo po, eh, nagkabaon-baon sila sa utang at pinapaalis nila sa lupa. No? Pero noong Southeast Asian Games po, nanalo siya ng gold at yung cash prize niya sa gold, yun po yung pinambayad niya para hindi sila mapaalis dun sa lupa nila sa copies. No? Uh, meron din po tayong isang, um, isang player ng Penchak Silat na um, they have become basically wards of uh, the um, National Sports Association of Penchak Silat because they have uh, physically been taken away from their parents. Anak po sila ng coach who was physically abusive. And for many of the athletes who I talk to, no, sports is really a way out of poverty. No? It's the only way that they're able to find subsistence for three meals a day. No? So ganyan po yung drama behind the, the tally count no, or the medal count that we don't really appreciate. But anyway, it was a pleasure to have uh, given support particularly to the Penchak Silla team and to our uh, boxers. No? Moving on, um, last time, tinanong po ni Rose Venario ano yung mga hakbang na ginagawa para labanan pong inflation. Um, nagkaroon na po ng pagpupulong ang ating mga economic managers kasama po ang Department of uh, um, Agriculture, Department of Agrarian Reform, DOLE, Foreign Affairs, at saka ang Tariff Commission. No? Um, nagkaroon po sila ng desisyon, ang pagbaba po ng taripa ay hindi talaga magbababa ng uh, mga halaga ng mga um, bilihin, lalo na mga pagkain. So ang ginawa po nilang mga pamamaraan para po mapababa ang presyo, unang-una nga po, yung pag-approve ng pag-import ng galonggong. No? So yan po ay ongoing as we speak. Bukod pa po dyan, um, tinanggal po natin yung tinatawag na special safeguard measures sa um, onions at saka sa manok. Ang special safeguard measures po, kami pong kumuha niya nung ako'y nagpa-practice pa, pinapataw po siya sa mga imported goods na galing sa mga bansa na nagbibigay ng subsidy sa kanila mga magsasaka. No? At uh, ito po ay higher tariffs no? in addition to normal tariffs no? na ini-impose. No? So tinanggal po natin yan, ang resulta niyan, bababa po yung taripa na babayaran kung magkakalap po o mag import ng uh, poultry products. Sa pork naman po, uh, meron po tayong tinatawag na minimum access volume quota holders dyan para din po yung uh, bigas na binibigyan ng ilang mga importers ng karapatan na kumalap at binabaan po, nagkaroon po ng babala ang Department of Agriculture dahil underutilized po ang, uh, ang mga quota ng mga importers natin. So, 50% daw po ay hindi nagagamit no, doon sa ating MAV quota holders. So, binigyan lang po sila na isang buwan ni Secretary Pinyol para sila po ay mag-import. Otherwise, ibibigay po yung quota nila sa iba. No? And ang uh, intention po ay para ma-fully avail natin yung ating minimum access volume quota para sa pagkalap po at pag-import ng pork products. Sa mga vegetable products naman po, um, kakaroon po ng regular inspection sa mga um, warehouses ng mga importers para malaban po kung ano talaga ang level ng inventory. At for the rice po, para sa bigas, uh, magkakaroon po ng close monitoring sa pagdating at pagdistribute ng NFA rice importations, uh, noting that most imports have not yet reached the warehouses. No? The DA noted that putting the NFA... Um, under the DA would facilitate coordination and timing of importation such as such that this would arrive during lean months when they are most needed. No? So yan po yung kasagutan kay Rose Novenario yung kanyang tanong on, on um, 
inflation mitigation measures. Of course, formally, the um, Palace has uh, issued in writing the appointment to our new Chief Justice, uh, Teresita J. Leonardo de Castro. Um, the Palace has also released today the appointment of the new chairperson of the National Youth Commission, who is Mr. Ronald Giancarlo Lapitan Cardema. As a new chairperson, National Youth Commission, period of term of three years, Vice Carissa Seguera. And then, meron pa po tayong mga um, sa pagdating po naman dun sa fuel cards. Magandang balita po para sa mga jeepney drivers. Ang patawid pasada program fuel cards ay sisimulan ng ipamahagi ngayong araw, August 28, sa lahat ng lehitimong public utility jeepney franchise holders, hindi lamang sa Metro Manila, kundi sa buong bansa. Ayon sa Department of Transportation, Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, maaari na makipag-ugnayan ng mga legal na franchise holders sa kanilang mga regional offices. Congratulations also to 617 inmates of the Manila City Jail who recently finished vocational courses offered by the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority or TESDA in coordination with the DepEd. These courses include tile setting, massage therapy, pastry, and bread making. The 617 participants underwent DepEd's alternative learning system and passed the 2016 and the 2017 accreditation and equivalency tests and inmates who have graduated from formal high school prior to detention. Magandang balita rin po para sa mga mamimili. Sa susunod na dalawang linggo, inaasahang bababa ang presyo ng imported na sibuyas. Ito po ay after the Department of Agriculture held a consultative meeting with red and white onion traders and importers last week. The meeting resulted to an agreement that red onions will be sold at 55 pesos per kilo in retail stores, while white onions will be sold at 65 pesos in two weeks' time. So part of the meeting also resulted, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, yung pagsuspindi po ng special safeguard duties addressed to the Bureau of Customs and Department of Finance. Questions, please. MPC question. Uh, Marcel Rimi. Good morning, sir. Sir, just to follow up about the inflation. So if mag import po tayo ng galunggong, does it mean na yung issue on formalin is not a cause of concern anymore on the part of the government? We will not allow, of course, the importation of uh, formalin tainted. No? So I guess you are correct. We will only allow importation of galunggong provided um, it is not... Um, Um, preserved with the use of formalin. And sir, yung grupo po ng pamalakaya once again, uh, nagsalita dun sa concern nila on the importation kasi baka daw maapektuhan yung local fishermen kasi sila daw yung unang tatamaan. Kaya nga po hindi nagkaroon ng desisyon na hindi ibaba ang taripa dahil kinakairam pa rin bigyan ng proteksyon yung mga lokal na mga ngisda at lokal na mga magsasaka natin. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Marcel. Uh, Benji, liwanag. Sir, good morning. Sir, on dun sa sibuyas, uh, uh, two weeks yung sinasabi ninyo. Pero halimbawa, meron pang mga lumang, uh, mga lumang produkto o lumang sibuyas. Ibababa rin po yung presyo? Well, ang um, special safeguards po noon man kasi, you can only suspend it. No? And then it will cover future importations. No? Ang inaasahan natin, yung old inventory, eh nandyan na po yung halagang yan. No? Pero dahil nga po suspended na yung special safeguard measure, eh baka sa darating na mga araw, yung mga bagong pag-angkat, eh bababa po ang presyo ng sibuyas. On uh, NFA, dun sa rice, paano po natin masusustain yung uh, kagaya po nung sa Sambuanga o yung Basulta area na nagkakaroon sila ng problema, masusustain na po natin yung supply na. Tinututukan na po ngayon ng hindi lang po ng uh, NFA, kundi ng interagency <coughs> Interdepartment Committee na, no, yung distribution nga po ng uh, NFA rice. Ang problema po ngayon ay hindi po sa kakulangan, no, dahil sapat na po yung ating inangkat. Ang problema ngay ngayon po yung distribution na pagkatagal-tagal nga na nagiging resulta nga, nagdire-resulta nga sa bukbok, no, sa tagal na nakabinbin yung mga inangkat na mga bigas sa mga uh, barko bago sila maibaba, no. So yan po ang tinututukan ngayon po ng gobyerno ng masigurado na yung binayaran na ng taong bayan ay makarating sa taong bayan. May mananagot po nito? Well, uh, for now, we leave that to uh, 
the discretion of uh, the different uh, agencies. No? Pero for now po, importante, maparating ang bigas ng mapababa ang presyo. Thank you very much, sir. Salamat, Benji. Uh, Christina Bendanio, an inquirer. Sir, when was this meeting, sir, and was the president present during uh, this meeting, sir? Hindi po. This was attended by, by cabinet secretaries, no? Ramon Lopez, presiding, Secretary Pinol, and representatives from Department of Finance, DBM, Foreign Affairs, DOLE, Agrarian Reform, Transportation, as well as Office of the Executive Secretary, Banco Central de Filipinas, Tariff Commission, Board of Investments, and EDA. The date was 16 August 2018. Okay. Sir, um, what was the reason for the rejection of the tariff on uh, food imports? What well, was what was uh, quoted here, I quote, and I quote, no? Um, um, the committee discussed potential solutions to curb inflation, not limited to tariff modification, taking into account the report on the results of the public hearing, noting that the spike in, pro in prices is temporary. Focus is on finding pragmatic solutions that will balance consumer and producer interests and achieve price reprieve at the soonest time possible. So the committee agreed that reduction of the MFN rates on certain agricultural products may not significantly reduce prices and lead to a decline in inflation as the articles proposed for tariff mod modification can be sourced from FTA parties, partners under lower preferential rates. Instead, the CTRF focused on supply side interventions that would have an immediate impact on short term supply shortages, including administrative measures within the purview of the Department of Agriculture and collaboration to closely monitor utilization of minimum access volume import allocation, end quote. Okay. So will the NFA Council meet out today? I'm not sure if they're meeting today, okay. but I will check. Okay. But the, the, um, the focus is on the monitoring of distribution, no? of um, imported NFA rice now, to make sure that they make it to the markets. Joyce, uh, inflation, NFA, and uh, other matters. Uh, other matters. Uh. Secretary Roque, families of victims of drug-related killings filed a complaint with the International Criminal Court charging the president with crimes against humanity committed through acts of murder for extrajudicial killings. Second um, complaint na po ito against the president sa ICC. Any thoughts po? That's not a complaint, that's a communication. Because it's not, it's still to be acted upon by the ICC. Procedure is different. Any, anyone can file a communication, even the Pope has a communication filed against him. So that doesn't mean anything. Again, my fearless uh, prediction is it will not prosper dahil nga po dun sa Concepto ng complementarity. Hindi po dapat gumalaw ang ICC unless local courts have proven to be unable or unwilling to exercise jurisdiction on these complaints. Sir, not on a different topic din po. Um, Senator Panifilo Laxon posted uh, regarding the President's inclusion of retired military and police officers sa Israel as a gift to them. Senator Laxon said that... Um, Every official presidential trip abroad must have a purpose better than just being a gift to anyone in the government. The reason is plain and simple. Government officials are always expected to serve their best. Ano pong reaction ng Malacanang? Well, including them, of course, as a part of a gesture for appreciation is part of the reason why they will be joining the trip. But obviously, for security personnel, a trip to Israel would entail um, collaborating and, um, and um, mingling no, with security forces of Israel in order for our men in uniform no, to benefit from the experience of Israel, particularly in their drive against um, extremism and terrorism. So nothing wrong, sir? With nothing wrong. I think um, strengthening security cooperation is one of the matters that will really be discussed in the Middle East as well. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, Pia, uh, phone in question lang mo nita kay ano kay Ate Rosa. After phone in question kay Pia. Uy, ikaw pala nagbo-moderate. Ako nga sir. <laughs> Naging lalaki ngayon. <laughs> okay, eh, oh, ngayon ko lang napansin. Wala. Hanggang bukas pa si Miss Rocky, sir. Nako, yeah. si Rocky masyado nag-enjoy ng 3-day uh, weekend. Hi, Miss Rox. <laughs> uh, from ano, uh, secretary from uh, Rose Novenario. Uh, Reaction lang, sir, doon sa inilunsad ngayon ng movement against tyranny. The movement against tyranny is an alliance of groups and personalities that aims to unite all freedom-loving Filipinos to counter the increasing uh, 
criticism and the fascism and military rule of uh, the Duterte government. Reaction na po. Uh, una, una, wala naman pong bago dyan kasi yung mga kabahagi ng uh, movement against tyranny are the same old critics of uh, the president. This include sis mother Mary Jan Manansan, Roderick, uh, most reverend Roderick Podilio, most reverend Yucratius Iniguez, congressman Lorenzo Tanyada, congressman Neri Colmenares, congressman Antonio Tino, with the same personalities, I'm not surprised with the same call. That's part of their freedom of expression. Let them be. Next question, please. Question, Pia. Sir, balik dun sa plano ni President Duterte na magdala ng mga retiring military and police uh, officials in Israel. Sino po ang gagasos? Will that be shouldered by the government, sir? Um, I, sa pagkakaalam ko po ngayon, no, they are still active members of the military. So it will be the government to spend for it. So can we say, sir, that they will be included if ever there will be security or bilateral meetings? Kasama po sila. So. Well, ang alam ko naman, for instance, yung sa Russia, no, magkaroon talaga ng separate uh, pagpupulong yung mga men in uniform with their counterparts. So they have their own agenda when we get there. No? Yun po yung nangyari dun sa nakita ko na marami rin kasamang mga men in uniform, yung Russia. Naudlot nga lang po kasi... Uh, pumuto ka Marawi at umuwi. Pero meron po sa rin sa reading uh, schedule at programa na susundin aside from the president. So the assumption, sir, is that they will also have an official agenda? Yes, yes. Israel. That's how it operates. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. Sir, kasi before si President Duterte had second thoughts about his trip to Israel and Jordan because of the travel cost. So how would you reconcile the president's plan to bring more people to Israel, sir? It's always cost-benefit. And of course, the benefit outweighs the cost. Thank you, sir. Ina? Other matters? Sir, can you clarify, please, uh, the statements of the President in Holo? Ano na po ba ang policy sa pagtanggap ng uh, NPAs who may want to surrender? Because he, he, he mentioned there na no more surrender, surrender. Ano po ang ibig niyong sabihin ba? Well, it was in Holo, no? So I suppose he was addressing the problem of ASG, no? You have to put it in context. Ang gulo naman doon talaga, ASG, no? Hindi naman na uh, MNLF because the peace is holding with the MNLF so far, no? Um, so you no more surrender, I, I think, has to do with ASG because in the past we accepted ASG surrenders as well. Also, I'd like to get your reaction on... Uh the recent statements from Joma Sison, he said among the military officers, there is a significant number who view the president as the number one enemy of the Philippines among, for various reasons, among others, turning police and military into his private instruments and betrayal of national sovereignty. That's part of uh, the delusions of Joma Sison. It cannot be anything other than delusion because he's 10,000 miles away. How would he know? what's in the mind of our senior military officials. Dream on, Joe Masisan. Thank you, Ina. Follow up, no more question. Uh, Joseph, please. Sir, C. Chief Justice De Castro took her oath before the justices of the court, and she has a schedule on Friday, no? With the president, sabi ni Sap? Um, I do not know. It's not in the official calendar. As spokesperson, I go by the official calendar. Yeah, but does she have to take her oath pa rin with the president? That would be a ceremonial oath. Okay. Because um, you can take an oath before anyone who is uh, authorized to administer the oath. And of course, 14 justices of the Supreme Court are authorized under our existing laws to administer the oath. Sir, soundbite lang po yung sa uh, impeachment complaint against the seven justices. Here. Well, yan po yung decision na ng ating uh, uh, mga kongresista, pero naniniwala po ako na Dahil marami na po tayong karanasan pagdating sa impeachment na malinaw po na yung basihan na ginamit ng mga nagre-reklamo laban sa pitong mga mahistrado ay madi-dismiss po dahil sa utter lack of merit. Can we elaborate on the utter lack of merit, sir? Ay, uh, madi-dismiss po yan. Tingin ko dahil sa jurisprudence, eh, malinaw naman po at sa ating saligang batas na hindi po pwede na maging impeachable offense yung pagdedesisyon sa isang kaso na sa ilalim po ng jurisdiction ng Korte Suprema at ang saligang batas po mismo nagsasabi na kasama po sa jurisdiction na ating kakataas-taas ang hukuman ang mga petition for co-warranto. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, any, any more questions, MPC? Benji? Sir, um, can you comment dun sa sinabi ni Trillanes yung uh, 
uh, magpa-IQ test silang sabay ni Pangulo? Well, let's start with the psych test, then we can go to an IQ test. Psych, psych test. An IQ test is premature. Let's begin with a psych test. After all, chief justices, would be chief justices are required to take that test, no? So anyway. So you're willing. Uh, is I'm not willing. No, no, the president is willing. No. Both my, of them will be. My, my, my reaction to your yeah, question yeah, is yeah. perhaps he should begin with a test on sanity before we even talk about IQ. No further comments. For both. No, for, for him. <laughs> and then, for that's it. Oh. For both, hindi, hindi, sabi mo kasi. Again, the president is not obliged to give in to any of demands of anyone. Okay? Okay, another. Uh, on the athletes, sir. What update? Kasi, uh, naumpisahan nyo na eh. Hindi ba i-review -re ng government yung mga binibigay na benefits uh, for the athletes and also their training? Uh, well, um, it's... Of course, I'm spokesperson, no? So, my answer would be, titignan po natin talaga kung paano uh, mabibigyan pa na mas maraming benepisyo ang ating mga atleta. Nakita po natin na bagamat limitado ang ating mga binigay na resources sa kanila, ay eh, nagbigay naman po sila ng dangal sa ating bayan, no? I think the record of so far three golds and 12 bronze is uh, something to be proud of. And gaya ng sinabi ko sa aking simula kanina, Eh, ito po ay sa kabila ng napakaliit na binibigay nating tulong sa kanila at sa napakatinding pagkahir o kahirapan na hinaharap ng karamihan ng ating mga atleta. So kinakailangan pong buhusan ng mas marami pang tulong at suporta ang ating mga um, kabataan dahil ito namang larangan po ng sports o palakasan. No? Ito ay hindi lang po para sa medalya. Ito po ay para sa kalusugan. Ito po ay para sa pagmamahal sa bayan. Ito po ay para sa disiplina. Ito po ay para sa um, pagkakaroon ng mas mabuting mga mamamayan. Maraming salamat, sir. Other topic. Okay, uh, tapos na tayo sa sports, Benji. Uh, Joseph, after Joseph, Mylene. Sir, is the palace aware of this uh, viral video of uh, minors uh, taking drugs and taunting the president? Hindi ko alam ko ano yan. Um, do you want to see it first? I'll go back na lang to the question. No, I... Yeah. Yeah, what am I supposed to say, no? No, but they are taunting the president's drug war. They're minors. So therefore, what do you they're allowed to me? do that. No, they're never allowed to do that. If mm -hmm. we could find out where they are, then they will be put in uh, proper custody of individuals who will provide them necessary services. Would you want the police to um, look for them? I don't know what you're talking about. So I'll I show it to you later. I cannot. Okay, thank you, Joseph. Uh, Mylene, please. Uh, other topic? Sir, uh, baka lang po. Uh, gusto niyo naman birthday message po ng, pala ng palasyo para kay Senator Delima. Birthday message. Any message to her? Yun na po yun. Baka meron po kayong... Yun na po yun. <laughs> ano po yun, sir? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Any more questions, uh, MPC? Uh, Christine. So there's there's this uh, priest. Uh, his name is Father Picardal, and he's in he's into in hiding pala ngayon, and he's claiming that uh, he's being targeted by death squads. So, any comment by the palace because he's, he helped document the um, uh, death squad out before. I think you asked me this over the weekend, and I said his remedy is to file a writ for, writ for amparo, no? writ of amparo with the Supreme Court or any court. It can be filed even in uh, in the lower courts, no? And it will be acted upon expeditiously. So, si Father, tama na po yung uh, pag-deklara na ang buhay mo ay uh, may banta sa buhay mo, gamitin nyo na po yung mga remedyong legal na nararayan. Rito pa ang paro po yan. Napakadali po makakauha niyan, mabibigyan kayo ng proteksyon kung talaga may ebidensya na may banta sa buhay ninyo. Pero wala naman death squad, sir. Wala po. Ang sa akin lang, tama na po yung... Uh, declaration sa media. Kung talaga may banta, gamitin yung instrumento para magkaroon ng proteksyon at meron na po tayong rito pamparo. Thank you, Christine. MPC, questions? If there are none, 
Maraming salamat. Okay, thank you very much. See uh, you on Thursday. Uh, welcome sa mga bisita ni Spokes. Ay, o oh, nga pala. Oh, Mag-post na kayo. Meron silang... From the LSE Support uh, Group uh, Foundation, uh, welcome sa Malacanang. This is uh, a lobby group. Okay? Uh, bilis na. Diyan na kayo. Oh, na thank kayo you, MPC. Now's thank you. Now's the time to do it. Oh, ayan. Thank you, Secretary Harigaw. Okay, back to... Uh, uh, Foundation. Okay. Thank you, MPC. Thank you, Secretary Harigaw. Thank Harigo. you very okay. much and see you on Thursday. Thursday. Back to our main studios of uh, Radio Pilipinas and PTV4.